Welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you're having an awesome day. Now, before we get started on the instrument cluster and stuff like that, we do have a problem with the Amazon headers. It's next to impossible to see it, but you see like right here to all the way around here, there's a black ring all the way around it. The actual gasket for this pretty much just disintegrated around that side. So I'm gonna have to make a new gasket for this. Hopefully it's as easy as it looks. Take off these bolts, take off the O2 sensor, take off the bolts on the bottom, take the upper part of the headers off and then just remake that seal and then put the new one on, put everything back on, we're good to go. So it's actually a little bit worse than I thought it was. This top gasket looks good, really good, nothing wrong with it. This bottom one blew in two places really bad. And if you look at the gasket, it literally disintegrated. So now that that's fixed, let's get to what we're actually doing today. Now, if you guys remember from an older episode, I put these amber LED lights in my cluster. You can kind of see they got that orange light to them in my cluster. And I wasn't even thinking, it, it came with extras. I thought, oh, in case one burns out, you put an extra one. They're for my climate control. I never even thought of that. But the orange came and went. I decided to go a different color with my car. So I have a new instrument cluster cover because remember I painted the old one orange and I bought these red they don't look red, but they probably are. I got these red lights for them for the cluster and the climate control. So I'm definitely gonna keep this because I took the time to actually do this and it wasn't like super cheap. Like I think the paint was like $40 because I got a 2K spray bomb with like industrial paint so it would not come off. And then I also got the LEDs obviously, which turn everything orange, but I never even thought to get these ones. There's two bulbs behind here. I could have put the extra ones there. So this is what I got, but I was looking at this one. You can see this one's all nice and clear. I polished this one all up when I got it. This one's really not in the best of shape. Oh, there you go. You can see that now. Just like weird marks. Like I tried to clean it up the best I can. It's just rough. So I'm gonna have to polish it up one day. I'm not gonna do it now. I'm just gonna put it in the car. Not because I'm lazy, not because I just don't want to right now. I just don't have the things right here and I don't wanna drive all the way back to the shop to get the polishing stuff, bring it here just to quickly go over it. So I'm gonna put it in the car and then next time the car's in the shop, I'll take it apart, give it a quick polish, put it back in, and it'll be good to go. I haven't even gotten in the car and I already missed the orange cluster. This just looks so good. And it took me quite a bit of time to do this because I had to prep it, paint it, wait for it to dry, glue this cover back on it, put it all back in. Like this is a couple day process through this and I miss it so much. I hate the stock black one, but I think it looks, I hate it, but I think it looks really clean. Like with the red LEDs in here, it's gonna look good. Now it's super simple. You, I just gotta find all the ones that are LEDs. You take them out. Put the old LED back in the bag just in case I want to use it one day. Take the new LED, make sure there is a positive and negative with these. Put it back in the right spot and it's good to go. Test it all, make sure all the LEDs work. Now the easy part is just plugging it in and make sure all the lights work. I'm pretty sure it's just this one. Okay, so only one of the lights works. What? How did I mess that one up so bad? There you go. You can see they're all working now. Well, you can kind of see this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. They're all working. All good to go. So I'm not going to show you the finished product yet. It works. It looks amazing. But I want to get the whole thing done before I show you. The next thing would be the two LEDs that are in the climate control. So I got to take out the radio because there's a screw here and a screw here. And I got to take out this bottom piece because there's one screw that goes up the center. And then that should take out the whole climate control. And then there's the wires and the cables that hold it in. But I'm hopefully that's easy to take out. <laughs> I 
I think this is honestly one of the worst things I've done to this car. I'd rather do the entire lift kit all over again and go through the process of breaking my camber arms all over again before I do this again. So let me show you how much of a pain this is. So unscrew everything, take off that wire, pull it out a little bit, and then take this off. This clip right here is such a pain. Super, super strong plastic. It's like concrete, it's so strong. You have to take this off. This is giving me the first one. So whatever you gotta do, this took me like 15 minutes to take this one off, pull it back a little bit more. And there's a little, it's, it's hard to explain. Right here, there's this tiny, tiny access hole. And if you pull the radio out and get like underneath the dashboard and have your feet in the air, but like underneath the dashboard, you can see this. You take a little screwdriver, push the clip up as hard as you can and pull while pulling back and it'll pop out. Just the climate control took me about half an hour to figure out. It took forever, I got it out. I'm so happy I got it out. I'm so happy I didn't quit. There were multiple times within the past half an hour, I'm like, forget it, I'm not doing it. And then uh, I just committed and finished it. Now I'm not trying to make this a tutorial. I'm trying to make this an entertaining video, but I've spent so long trying to find this stuff and I can't find it. Like there's some people that just do really, really bad step-by-step -step instructions, but they miss half the steps. So let me explain. I explained that to you. I might as well explain this to you. So try to keep up if you're doing this to your car. So first off, you have this little clip here, twist it, pull it off. And I have all these tiny screws to get out. So slowly take all these out. So now you're left with this. You can pull this up and pull this back, taking this off. I wouldn't take it all the way off. It's not worth taking it all. Just Put it out of the way. Now this, you can take a screwdriver and push in these tabs and pop this piece out. And then that's it. If you take these and pull them up and then there's little tabs on the side here, pop all these little tabs up and out. Also two tabs on the top. Now right here, the little LEDs, super easy to get to. Pull them out, put the new ones in. So now I got those LEDs swapped in and the worst part is the part that I dread to do is these LEDs have a positive and negative side. As you saw from the cluster, Three quarters of them didn't work, I had to switch them around. So the most important thing is test these before you put it all back together and put it in the car and find out it doesn't work. Actually, I tested mine and they were backwards, so luckily I didn't put it all back together. So this is the worst part. You have to put it back in the car and you have to plug in that green wire again to make sure it works. So I plugged it in, I'm dreading taking it out, but I plugged it in, they were backwards, I fixed them. And I'm just gonna show you this to prove it just gets so much better from here. All that hard work, paid off. Look how awesome that is. Put these LEDs back in here, put the cover back on, put it back in, good to go. Everything's done, it's good. Now it's time to rip more of my hair out, trying to get this thing back in the car. It's in, it's done, it's ready to go, and it looks amazing. Now, unfortunately, the problem is it's too light out to really show you anything, so I promise I'll get some nighttime shots. But at the same time, like, it was just the cluster lights, which kind of bugs me, like, it's not a super entertaining video. It took a long time to do, and it was a very, very big pain in my ass. But it's done, it looks good, and it's, it's all these small details that make such a big difference to the car. Like, I look at this, every single time I drive the car. So as little as a job it was, one of the biggest differences is the car because I see it all the time. But anyways, I'm gonna run back to the shop because I can get some stuff. I wanna do some more stuff to this car today, not in this video, but maybe the next video. I wanna get, and while I'm at the shop, I can get the polisher for the cluster. Just, just get that over with because it already bugs me. Like I haven't even driven the car, it already bugs me. But I promise in 10 seconds, you'll see some awesome nighttime shots of this. But for now, I'm gonna get going. Super quickly before this video ends, I started another video on the radiator for my Civic. I got an aftermarket radiator. I'm spoiling the surprise right now. I went to go put it in. There's no transmission cooler. It was for a manual transmission. This, I have an automatic transmission, so it just didn't work. And lots of things just did not go my way today. Like I got, I got the cluster lights in, which is cool. I helped, my buddy came over and we put some blacked out emblems on his Ranger, which I'll show, just, just shows that like things don't always go your way and that's just fine because I'm, I'll just order up a, transmission cooler and it is what it is like 
these are things that you just can't avoid and I just simply don't know. So now I learn for future, automatic transmission probably has a transmission cooler, manual transmission doesn't. I don't know, it might, I don't know. But anyways, I just, just want to quickly say that, get that out there, that things just don't always go your way and can't really get discouraged about it. It is what it is, it'll be fine. Anyways, I'm rambling. I appreciate every single one of you guys that watched the video till the end. So make sure you guys like, make sure you guys comment something, comment something, I'll reply and make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys next time.